This is the real Tom Rose, and we're going to solve a problem dealing with subway passes. And we got what? We got two classes of tickets, and the senior citizen ticket is two dollars less. Uh, they always get everything good. We'll call that S is the senior, and we've got the regular fare, which we'll call R. Good variable names here, S and R. Uh, bad variable names, X and Y. Eh. They don't mean anything. So let's pick something that means something. Now, we've got a common formula here, which is we're given something and we've been asked to find something. I always like to write down what we've been asked to find. What is the regular fare? So we've been asked to find R. OK, what have we been given? Let's see. Uh, all day subway pass, $2 less for seniors than for regular. So when we translate this, we're going to equate senior and regular. And we need to put $2 less, so a minus 2 is going to go somewhere. Uh, in order to keep from messing this up, I always try to keep track of the big side and the small side. So the senior citizen ticket is the small side, because it's $2 less, which means the regular fare is the big side. So when we put the minus 2, we should probably do it. Oops. Man, I said all that, and I did it wrong. <laughs> we should put the minus 2 on the big side because we want both sides of this equation to be, to be equal. So big side minus 2. Now, uh, we've got one equation. Now, we also know that a group of senior citizens, six senior citizens and four regulars, so let's do six seniors plus four regulars, pays a total of $98. What is the regular fare for an all-day subway pass? Uh, well, in order to figure this out, we already we have an equation here with two variables. So unfortunately, it's unsolvable as is. But um, we have another equation. And we can take uh, what we have been given for the value of s and plug that in. So we know s is equal to r minus 2. I'm going to plug that in. And we'll then have 6 times r minus 2 plus 4r equals 98. And let's see if we can solve this. Now we have one equation in one variable. So we'll get 6r minus 12 plus 4r equals 98. Common algebra practice, combine like terms. We have an r term, so let's add those together. We'll get 10r minus 12 equals 98. Now let's add 12 to both sides of the equation. And we'll end up with 10r equals 110. Let's divide both sides by 10. And what are we left with? We're left with r equals 11. Is that a match between what we've been asked to find? Yes. So 11 is our answer, which is C.